All right, so a real quick video today. We're just going to be installing complete. We're going to walk through those steps just for anyone who's unfamiliar about how you would do that. Now, in my case, I'll be installing uh, complete nine. You can see that, and this is the update. I'll be updating over version eight, but the installation process, authorization process is going to be pretty much exactly the same. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we have 12 DVDs to get through, and obviously we're going to start with the very first DVD, the installation disc. So we'll just pop that right in the computer. Then we got our alert tone there. Now, depending on how you have your computer set up, you might get your auto start. I don't have my computer set up that way. So I'll go ahead and just double click on the DVD and go ahead and run the complete nine setup for PC since I'm on Windows. So I'll just go ahead and double click there. Now we can actually close this window there. We don't need that open. So that'll give us a little problem later on when we go to put different DVDs in. All right, so now let's go ahead and go through our prompts. And what I want to show you is how to set this up to put your samples on a different hard drive because that's very important at least in most cases because a secondary hard drive is going to be able to stream faster than putting everything on your os hard drives your samples of course we want all of our programs on the system drive all right i want to install everything so i don't need to mess with that at all but click next and this is the part you need to pay attention to is install the complete nine applications too and this is the correct path you probably want to leave it right there you want your programs on your OS hard drive. So we're going to click next there. My RVST plugin locations is correct. Now, this is the one you really need to pay attention to is install the Complete 9 library. The library is the sound. I don't want to install the library on my system hard drive. I want it installed on its own sample hard drive. So we're going to click change here and I'll direct this to my sample uh, hard drive libraries. And I'll just choose the native instruments folder. Okay, right there. That's all I need to do. I don't need to create a complete folder. I don't need to create a contact folder, so on and so forth. Just Native Instruments is good. So we'll be installing to Native Instruments. All those folders will be auto-created, you know, uh, Contact, West Africa, all the libraries, things like that. So we're going to click Next. And this is actually a pretty easy installation process. It's a little tedious, a little bit long. But anyway, let's go and click next here. What's going to happen is it's going to install all of the applications to our C drive, and then it will install all of the libraries to our, in my case, my E drive. And once this disc is done installing, it will prompt me for the next disc. And that's just how it's going to continue. So right now I'm just going to sit back and wait and I'll be back whenever it's time to put in the next DVD. All right, so now our first disc is done installing. As we can see, we have a prompt here that says, please insert battery disc. So we'll go through our discs here and grab our battery disc and we'll pop out the disc that's in there and then pop in the battery disc and then we'll wait for that disc to be recognized by our computer and if for some reason you don't get prompts whenever you put in a disc you can always come to my computer and wait just a couple seconds and then the drive will update there we go as you can see so we'll close that back down and then just click ok our battery disk and now it's going to install battery for us and after that disk is done then it's going to prompt us for contact disk a and then when that disk is done it's going to say contact disk b c d and so forth so i'm not going to show you this any further because it's just going to be redundant long and boring so that will be the installation process of complete just replacing those discs whenever you're prompted to do so so now i'm just going to sit back wait go grab something to eat and just keep replacing discs till we're done. And once we're done, we'll be back and we'll authorize it with the Native Instruments Service Center. Okay, now we are done with that installation. We went through all 12 DVDs. As you can see, everything installed correctly. So now we can remove that DVD and make sure we put it back in our case, of course, all of our DVDs. And now we need to activate Complete 9. So in order to activate, we'll run the Service Center and we'll just leave this box checked and go ahead and click Finish here. That will automatically bring up the service center for us. And if this is your first time launching the service center, it'll probably ask you to log in. If you don't have an account, you can create an account. I have the service center set up to auto log me in. So this is scanning through my products right now to see what needs activation. And now we need to enter our serial number for complete nine. And the serial number for complete nine is on the inside jacket here. So I'll just enter that in now. And after you've entered your serial, just click activate. And there we go. Everything is activated. You can visit this website if you want. I'll just cancel out of it. 
and then some more information. There's a website, we'll just cancel out of it. Again, you can visit the website or cancel out of it. And there we go, you can see Complete 9 is active. So that is it, that's the install and activation process of Complete. And now at this point, you would go to your updates here and get all of the updates because whatever's on the disks is more than likely going to be out of date. And obviously Complete 9 is out of date by the time I'm doing this video here. So I definitely have a lot of updates to install. I'm not going to show that because it's pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure everything's checked, click download, go check it out. It's one of the must have bundles for any music producer, anyone who works in any kind of music or audio. It's, it's a definite must have, the big package. It's absolutely amazing. Definitely go check it out. Nativeinstruments.com